Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Chevy Silverado D generation here from year 2014 to year 2019. If you guys have a problem where a cruise control doesn't work in this video today, we'll explain what can cause it. It could be simple fix, it could be something more complicated, but there are up to four different fuses that you will need to check. We'll explain why. We'll explain where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure it's done till the end. Before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart. We show you how to do, how to fix engines, transmissions, engine codes, engine lights, uh, fuses, all that stuff guys. Why we do all that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing these videos absolutely free. Now guys, we have more than 14,000 free repair videos videos on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs so please check check them out and they can save you quite a bit quite a bit of money now or in the future so guys if cruise control does not work what we need to check we will demonstrate on this generation uh, Chevy Silverado here now multiple things can cause it guys okay multiple things can cause specifically cruise control not to work but uh, first guys okay what we need to check now if you have one of those you need to check up to four different fuses and you have many hidden fuse boxes that most people don't know about nine out of ten people don't know about them we we'll recommend to check out the video on our youtube channel about fuse box location open the passenger door on the side of the dash you have a cover pry that cover open underneath you'll find a fuse box with a layout like this one for 2014 through 16 model and layout like that for 2017 through 19 model before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays it is guys very important to test fuses and relays on those fuses you cannot clearly see if they're burnt or not especially you can see in the jk's fuses as well and if you guys assume okay you, let's say you remove a fuse you look at it and you assume guys that it's a uh, actually a, a good fuse but it's actually a bad fuse sometimes you cannot clearly see that what can easily happen guys at that point uh, you can uh, uh, put the bad fuse in and you start replacing parts and tools that you don't need to so you will lose your time you lose your money to fix a problem that doesn't exist when all we had to do is test the fuse and replace it we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses how to check relays very easily as well guys so uh, check it out it will be in the description of the video below now guys quick thing if you need to buy fuses relays parts tools at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time guys we're going to put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience please check it out that way you do not waste money and time here guys what we need to check one fuse will need to be checked specifically guys for the cruise control and then we'll explain which else you need to do now for 2014 through 16 please guys make sure you stand till the end we want to give you one good advice that way you do not end up being stuck in the middle of uh, nowhere like it happened to us fuse number 15 will be the one that you need to check that's a cruise control fuse and here 2017 through 19 the location will be exactly the same it will still be fuse number 15 then you need to open the hood under the hood guys here on the driver's side you have a fuse box under that cover open it you will find a fuse box with a layout like this one for 2014 through 16 model let's explain about that first and if we come in that section here the fuses that we need to check specifically now guys okay we're talking about fuse number three okay right here very important fuse will need to be checked fuse number 19 will need to be checked so if you come in that uh, row it will be that fuse right here fuse number 19 then you need to check fuse number 25 guys 25 will be this fuse right here now if you have 2017 through 19 you will need to check again fuse number 3 19 25 the same fuses there will be no differences but other things that can cause cruise control not to work guys okay could be a bad cruise control switch now uh, guys if you want to see how to test cruise control switch we have videos on our youtube channels how to do that uh, if sometimes you spill something or somebody detailed the vehicle got it wet that can cause it not to work as well 
quite often we see that at the garage. Another thing could be a bad brake light switch. If the brake light switch doesn't work, the cruise control will not work because you will not know when you apply the brakes to deactivate it. So if you want to know symptoms of bad brake light switch, how to test brake light switch, guys, we'll have videos on our YouTube channel how to do that. Also, if you guys have ABS light, traction control light, stability track light, anything like that, that will often cause cruise control not to work as well because it may not read correctly ABS sensors, traction control may not work correctly and the cruise control will be deactivated as well. Those are the most common things we see at the garage. Now guys, you have all kind of different fuses and relays in that Chevy Silverado. You have different fuses relays that could be really hard to find, especially if you're in the middle of nowhere. And uh, one time we needed a replacement one, we couldn't get one, we were stuck in the middle of nowhere because of that. So what we do now, we always get some spare fuses relays, keep them in the glove box for a peace of mind guys, that way you do not get stuck in the middle of nowhere like it happened to us guys. Hopefully the video will be helpful, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.